What's up Blasters and welcome back to another theme park review. Today we're exploring the charm and thrills of Bobby Aanland in Lichtaard, Belgium. This park has a fascinating history, founded originally by Belgian country artist Bobby Aanschoepen in 1961. After dredging a 75-acre swamp, it all started with a 1200-seat theatre that served as a music venue for Bobby Aan as well as international artists. Over time, beaches, swimming ponds and a playground were added, which were later replaced by a variety of attractions, many of which still form the basis of today's rides. Bobby Aanland has an oval layout surrounding a scenic lake and is nestled in nature. While the theming might feel a bit dated, what matters most is the overall experience. Now let's dive into the rides. Let's start with El Rio, a wild river ride with a unique vortex feature that adds an unexpected twist to the experience. It's a refreshing adventure you won't find everywhere. Next to this you of course also have the obligatory cowboy train and log ride which every park has. But there's more! Terra Magma is an indoor log ride with 4D elements like wind and heat. Though originally built in 1991, the theming got updated recently with a new lick of paint. The Dreamcatcher is a hanging coaster that's a revamped version of a 1987 coaster. It's relatively tame and it's actually slow, so I would only hop on if the wait is very short. Next is the Revolution. This 1989 dark coaster offers a gentle ride and is entirely indoors. Its main highlight is actually the length of the cart. It provides a very nice break from the more intense attractions if you want to calm down for a moment. The Speedy Bob is a wild mouse style coaster featuring sharp turns and less than comfortable seats. It's a mid-tier ride at best and it might be worth skipping if the lines are long. Don't forget to protect your knees. Next up is the Typhoon ride with its vertical ascent and descent at the start. It seems thrilling if you look at it from the outside, but it's hampered by its lack of speed and comfort. There's a slow corkscrew, which is kind of interesting, but overall it's a letdown. A real headache-inducing ride. Up next is Naga Bay, a ride that features carts that can spin independently from the track, adding an extra layer of movement. If you can handle all the spinning, it's actually quite fun and comfortable. Then there's the Sledgehammer, a real carnival style thrill ride that surprisingly made me a bit nauseous. A first for me, but maybe I'm just getting older. Then we have Fury, the park's newest and most impressive ride. It opened in 2019 and it allows riders to choose between forward or backward travel, reaching speeds of up to 106 km per hour with three launches on the way. The smoothness and comfort make it the standout attraction, on par with rides at major parks like Europa Park and Fantasia Land. Unfortunately, our visit coincided with lots of school trips leading to an average wait time of over 45 minutes for almost every ride. To save the day, we opted for the Diamond Fast Pass, which offers unlimited fast access for the entire day. While it costs 70 euros on the day itself, buying it online in advance can be as low as 35 euros. Adding to that that a standard ticket, if bought online in advance, is only 25 euros, you would end up paying 60 euros for all day access with minimal wait times, which is an incredible deal in the segment. So all in all, despite some dated elements, Bobby Aanland offers a solid theme park experience, especially with the fantastic value for money if you combine it with a fast pass option. If you're planning a visit, be sure to buy everything online in advance. I would personally rate Bobby Aanland 6 out of 10 blasties. If you've ever been to Bobby Aanland, let me know how you enjoyed it in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for joining me on today's adventure, Blasters. See you in the next one. Shh.